My name's Guy Kesterman, and for over 22 years I've been a professional bike tester. And today I'm doing a tech walk round review on Lapierre's Edge AM827 Plus trail hardtail. And obviously, Lapierre, I mean, it's a, this is the Plus version, there's a whole family of uh, Edge AM and Edge XM bikes which have 100mm travel, AMs I will have 120mm travel. And they're a really, really good... The more you look at them and the more you ride them, the more you realise what a really, really good package they are. Uh, I mean, certainly the 727, the 750 quid bike, is really, really good value. Uh, you know, uh, Shimano gears, uh, hydraulic discs, dropper is standard, and they all share this same frame, uh, this Supreme 4, hydro hydroformed aluminium frame. You've got tapered head tube. The fact you've got rack and mudguard bosses up the top of the stays, but you haven't got them on the dropouts is a bit of a fail. But loads of mud. I mean, even, this, even on this, with this 2.8 tyre, you've got a huge amount of space behind there. Uh, 74 degree seat angle, 66.5 degree head angle. You've got 640 mil uh, horizontal top tube, so effective reach is really, really long. Uh, the only thing I would say is the seat tubes are quite long, so as you can see, even with a relatively short uh, stretch dropper post. I've got the collar slammed there to uh, get it the right height on this large. So there's no real scope for getting it extra, extra long by uh, sizing up a frame. But then again, you know, it's long enough as it stands. And the actual ride feel of the bike's really nice. It's got quite a lot of tube profiling going on, you know, stiff vertically at the front and then flattens out around the base here. You've got bottle cage bosses on the down tube. You've even got old school crud guard, crud catcher bosses on the underneath there. So. Uh, if you still like a bit of a face protector on your down tube, you can even fit them. Uh, in terms of spec, I mean, this is the top of the range bike, so you're getting a Lapierre branded one by chain set up the front, uh, XT rear mech, that's an obvious highlight, uh, 11 speed sunrace block, but it's not getting mega range like an Eagle setup, but certainly enough, uh, you know, 32 on the front. 1142 on the back, it's certainly enough to claw its way up most things. And these WTB Ranger tyres, these 2.8s, not the grippiest, but in terms of uh, rolling speed, really, really smooth. And now all that airspace, because they're on a proper big 40mm rim, uh, these WTB STI 40 rims, loads and loads of volume. So the bike properly floats along. And that really helps out up front, where you've got this Recon RL fork. Perfectly respectable fork you'll get this on a lot of bikes at this price point and you'll get a lot worse on a lot of bikes at this price point but having all this airspace in the in the front tire definitely helps smooth out the ride of it and uh, you know let the motion control damper hang in there a lot longer than it would normally in terms of spec on the bars you've got a very basic shimano brake but it's reliable when you pull the lever the bike stops with a reasonably progressive feel uh, it's certainly less wooden than some alternatives at the price you've got lock-on grips you've got SLX shifters and crucially you've even got a dropper post with a proper under underbar remote and you get a bell probably should have taken that off but yeah like all bikes sold in a shop legally because obviously Lapierre's are sold in shops they're not an online brand which makes the uh, value of the bike even more impressive you have to get a bell with it and why not one bit spec, it should, according to the listings, come with a 35mm stem, this came with a 60 but the 740mm bar is right, and obviously that's quite a narrow bar for an otherwise quite progressively shaped bike, so you can see a lot of people moving up to a wider bar, but it's not a massive investment putting like a 760 or 780mm bar on there. Other downsides, the fact it's got steel stanchions on these recon forks obviously adds a bit of weight, so the whole bike is just over 14 kilos in this large size uh, but again that's ballpark for a bike with 2.8 tyres on and the handling is really really well balanced even with that narrowish bar on there it just pops the front wheel exactly where you want and it keeps it in there and it's far enough in front you've got plenty of stability and despite it having chunky looking tubes at the back there's a good amount of flow in the back end especially with those big old tyres I mean running about 15 psi in the rear about 12 in the front uh, if you went tubeless you could go even lower if you wanted and it comes tube to standard but it will go tubeless uh, nice and easy with a bit of gaffer tape and some valves and some sealant so there's a whole load of upgrade potential in what's already an impressively sorted package the only thing I would say is tech tyre levers 
because these WTB tyres can be an absolute sod to get off these really wide WTB rims. And what's interesting, although you kind of think, eh, 1100 quid, it's not an amazing spec, when you actually start digging into the details, it really is a very, very impressive package for the money, certainly for a shop bought bike. For a start, you get a full range of sizes from extra small through to extra large, which a lot of brands that go get hard on price will compromise on. You won't get an extra small or you won't get an extra large. And even if you're looking at brands which are primarily online, like uh, Sonda through Alpkit or Ragley, they're one of the few brands offering a plus tired bike with good geometry. Their thousand pound bikes don't have a dropper post on them. And if you look at Boardman, then you're looking at more of an XC focused bike, the 29ers. If you look at, uh, you know, the German online brands like Canyon, they're very much an XC focused hardtail uh, caliber. They don't offer a plus size bike. I mean, they have got a bike around 750 quid, the Line 10, which I've reviewed for the channel. But if you actually compare that with the Edge 727, very, very closely matched, you know, if you're just going for conventional size tires. So Lapierre, considering, you know, they're coming in, you know, it's a French brand brought in by Rally into the country, are really, really putting together some really, really good packages throughout this range. Yeah, hats off to them. You know, to be honest, I thought, hmm, what am I going to say about this bike? But the more I've ridden it, the more I am impressed by it. Oh, the only other glitch I'll to point out, it is a press fit or bottom bracket in there, which won't please everyone. Uh, I think most of us would rather see a screw in but they're a lot more durable than when they were when they first appeared, that's for sure. But apart from that, I mean, even having a bolt-through boost axle on the rear is something of a win. Well, maybe not this price point, but certainly if you're looking at cheaper bikes in the AM range. And you've got boost front and rear, so fully upgradable if you want to get to a lighter wheel pack. Obviously, you could fit more bite, a tyre with more bite up front. Uh, it might be wise for winter. You are going to stir about a lot on these uh, low-tread ranges if things get a bit slippery. But you've got bolt through maxil axle on the front. I mean, it's the old school style because it's a recon fork. But, you know, super tough and reliable and easy to find replacements for. And the shape of the bike and the ride of the bike, which is obviously the biggest part of enjoying the ride, absolutely spot on, I have to say. So make sure you watch the riding video where I'll hopefully illustrate that a bit clearer. If you've got any more questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. Click the notifications button, subscribe, uh, consider joining me on the channel on Patreon if you want more exclusive insider tech, interviews, early releases, all that kind of thing. But thanks very much for your time and thanks to Rally UK, uh, Lapierre's importers, for supporting this video with... Uh, thanks to Rally UK, uh, Lapierre's importers, for paying for the time it took to make this video and valuing my opinion enough to put that money my way but yeah the more i've ridden it the more this edge am827 plus has really impressed me and if you look further down the range there's some cracking bikes in there